giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechaha Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, and much love and salutations unto the hopeful elect. This is Brother Tazapai here with you once again with another lesson. And this lesson I'd just like to weigh in briefly on this year's mantra amongst GMS, the year of the turn up, or the year of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, turning up. And that spells out one thing, and that's prophecy fulfilled. So when you talk about or you speak of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai turning up, how you know what does that look like? How does that play out? And it plays out in fulfilled prophecy. And this is the this is the time that we're in. When when the most I get to fulfilling these prophecies, that's what it looks like around the entire world. The, the most I turning up is because you're going to see what you're going to see everything that's spoken of in uh, uh, Matthew, the 24th chapter, where the Lord sp spoke about, which we are already seeing. But the Lord spoke about uh, wars and rumors of wars, uproars of the people, earthquakes and diverse places. You see, that's what it looks like when you have a Bashim, you have a shy turns up. And we're, what are we talking about? We're talking about prophecy. Uh, I'm going to go to that real quick. Because as, as I stated, uh, these things have already begun. You know, we are in the beginning of sorrows, actually. That's why so much sickness and everything else that's going around. All right. But we'll start here at the sixth verse. Uh, the fifth verse. No, no, no. We got to go to four. All right, this is Matthew chapter 24, verse 4, verse 3. So like you for that. Got to start at verse 3. Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. And he sat upon the Mount of Olives. Oh, so like you. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, Tell us when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And of the end of the world. So they're asking, what are the signs? So let's see what the Lord replied. Verse 24 and 4, or verse 4, chapter 24, verse 4. And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, or Masiach, and shall deceive many. Now, has that not already happened? You had one guy who the Most High put to death claiming he was the God sent comforter, which is to say he is the anointed or the Masiach, the Christ. You know, and there are numerous others. So this is one indicator right here. And uh, verse six says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right. These things must come to pass. And what is that? That is the most high turning up. Wars, rumors of wars. But then it goes on further to say, verse 7, For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes, in diverse places now the lord spoke this over two millennium ago a millennia whichever you prefer the lord spoke this over two thousand years ago which makes this prophecy but we see these prophecies coming to pass these prophecies are being fulfilled and that is what in essence that is the most high turning up wars and rumors of wars uh, nation rising against nation and it would appear that you know men are turning up which they are but why 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 are these you know nations rising against nations why are there wars and rumors of wars you know which again would appear that mankind as a whole is turning up and that's because the most high himself is turning up you understand so these things are happening now get this and we'll move on matthew 24 and 8 all these are the beginning of sorrows so we're just at the tip of the iceberg 
you know, we're just at the tip of the iceberg. Now, I wanted to kick it off here, but Matthew 24 is a very good place to start this lesson. But I want to go here, the Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 5. And it says, whoso keepeth the commandments shall feel no evil thing. And a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. So, you know, through the wisdom of the men of the Lord, uh, in particular, the chief apostle Tahar, in his wisdom, he recognized what time it is. You know, watching for the prophecies, seeing prophecies come to pass. And you, you could really only come to one conclusion that the Most High is really going to kick it in high gear in 2022. So the apostle dubbed this the year of the turn up, and, you know, to put it short. I just say the year of the turn up, but the year of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah turning up. And, and every brother can feel that, you know, every man of the Lord can feel that, that this year is, is rightfully named as all the others in the past. Because we can feel the turn up. We can feel the turn up, which, again, is prophecy coming to pass. You got the mark of the beast right around the corner. You got uh, all these mandates that are coming down the pike dealing with this pandemic that's going down. And so, right, things can't. It's not going to die down. Things is not going. It's it's not going to be water under the bridge. Things are going to escalate. And again, whoso keepeth the commandments shall feel no evil thing, and a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. So, if you're in the spirit, and the Most High is dealing with you, then you're able to discern that we are definitely in the year of the Most High turning things up. Okay, now get this, Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 6, because to every purpose there is time and judgment. Therefore, the misery of man is great upon him. Right, you got people sick, left and right, you know, just, you know, going from one sickness to the next. And they getting all of these shots and, and all of these jabs and whatnot, and people still, by the masses, getting sick. You know what I'm saying? But that's just one of the miseries. Now, we read Matthew 24 and 8. It said, all of these are the beginning of sorrows. So, really, all people have to look forward to is even more and greater miseries to come. Not so with us. Not so with the men of the Lord because we're looking forward to the kingdom. Now, we understand that we must pass through this fire through these trials and tribulations in order to get to the kingdom. But we understand that the kingdom is coming nonetheless. And going back to Ecclesiastes 8 and 5, whoso keepeth the commandments shall feel no evil thing. This is why we strive to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the very best of our ability because we're trying to escape the perils that are, uh, that are to come. You understand? And so from there, we're going to go to Revelation 22 and 10. You know, this is the year of prophecy fulfilled. In other words, so Matthew, uh, Revelation chapter 22, verse 10, it says. All right. And he said unto me. Seal not the sayings. Okay. Get that. There we go. All right. Again, Revelation chapter 22, verse 10. And he said unto me, seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. And again, this was like 2,000 years ago. So now that we're seeing the prophecies being fulfilled, how much more now is the time at hand? So the Most High, he has to turn up. He has to turn up because the Heavenly Father is subject to his word. He cannot break his word. He is a man of integrity. 
a man of truth according to uh numbers uh 23 and 19 let's let's go to that real quick just so i can be on point but i'm more than positive it's 23 and 19 so but we'll bring that out <clears throat> real quick and it says numbers chapter 23 verse 19 yahweh is not a man that he should lie neither yahweh shy or it says the son of man that he should repent had he said and shall he not do it or had he spoken and shall he not make it good Right. The year to turn up. Most high subject to his word. He cannot lie. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Had he said. And shall he not do it. Or hath he spoken. And shall he not make it good. So yeah. All them things. we Like I said. We already seeing it. We are seeing it. Crystal clear. Clear as day. So what we're looking for now, this mark of the beast to be mandated, more uproars of the people, more wars and rumors of wars, and then that ultimate third woe, which is a third world war. And uh, if I'm forgetting something, which those are the main prophecies yet to be fulfilled, but yes, um, that's what it's all about right now. The year of the turn up, the year of prophecy being fulfilled. So it's just my uh my my thoughts on this. I'm you know I'm 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 ecstatic, you know, we we almost out of here. And and it's been a rough ride. This year started off rough. Last year ended rough. <laughs> you know, it's been a rough transition, but you know. You, you keep your eye on the sparrow. Keep your eyes on the prize. You know, can't worry about these these little setbacks and, and nuances of uh, being in this truth. You got to focus on, on, on the prize. So uh, with that, I pray that you brothers are edified. Until the next one, Shalom.